In this video, I'd like to share with you all some things that I've been experimenting with and learning about related to sound quality, specifically how to mic a piano. I don't think this is a good idea, but I tried it anyway. About a year ago, I decided that I was going to put together a collection of pieces that I've written and record them for an album. Why not? And since then, this project has gone through many ups and downs, a lot of trials and errors. I'll save the details for another video, but basically part of the main focus and part of the main challenges involved the engineering aspect of it. And since I'm used to doing so many things on my own, I'm a one person operation when it comes to YouTube videos, as many of you know, I got it in my head that I was going to do all of this on my own as well. But that only took me so far because I've, I'm not experienced in this. I've been recording videos for YouTube for the past three years or so, and for the majority of the time, I've been using this device here. It's a Zoom H5, a very simple portable recorder. You put an SD card into it, it runs on batteries. As you can see, it's quite worn out, but I've been using this. I would put it on top of the piano or on my piano bench, or sometimes on a chair by the piano. So nothing super fancy. Or I would use a Rode Video Micro, which is actually still something that I use. It's attached directly to the camera. I use this because it's been practical to capture both the sound of myself talking and the sound of the piano. So I'd like to record it and also, I don't know, I'm rambling. This is horrible. At the start of this, I knew that I needed some microphones, so I did some research for a number of weeks and I kind of used blind faith and also my budget to <laughs> choose a pair of microphones and I'm quite happy with uh, what I got. I got a pair of Soyuz microphones with both cardioid and omni capsules. At first, I did some experimenting with just those two mics. I just Googled how to mic a piano <laughs> and I tried different, uh, different things and they all kind of sounded not great. Then about halfway into the project, I switched gears and I started working with an audio engineer. His name is Puya. He's excellent. I've worked with him before in the past. We came up with this hybrid situation where he would uh, guide me through Zoom and we would exchange files and working with him made a huge, huge difference. Uh, we have to adapt it to uh, the circumstances that we're in right now. I don't think the other stand goes that high. I think we we're screwed here. Way. So this is kind of interesting to in instruct you from here. Uh, For these intimate tracks, I, I, I want to hear more of the piano, like even each little pedal switch even if it's not a clean sound if it just sounds like a little thud or something like that so in learning about the basics of recording there are just so many factors that go into it i don't understand in depth all of these things but just from the surface level i understand that the room is very important of course the instrument i'm in a very 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 unique situation where i have access to this space with an incredible piano. So that's factor number one. It's a concert grand Fazioli, and <laughs> I don't need to say more about that, but that makes a huge difference. Um, so opening the lid always gives like more harmonics. I'm going to do my best in summarizing the setup that I use for this particular project. Hopefully, like I said before, some of you may gather some insights from this and apply them to your own projects. Maybe about six feet what's consistent throughout all of the mic tests. I'm using four mics, two perpendicular to one another that is placed in the curve of the piano, and then two behind that that are parallel to one another that are a lot higher, 38 centimeters apart. In terms of setting the levels, I would play the loudest portion of what I'm about to record, and I would aim for about minus six dB. So minus six. Minus six, perfect, right on the dot. And additional settings, it was done at 96 hertz and 24 bit. It's about 
an octave above. I should also mention that these microphones are being plugged into an audio interface. I'm using the Apollo Quad. There's like a bird outside or something. In coming up with this setup though, I went through a number of tests, borrowing different mics, trying different combinations, and I will include some of these clips here. Of course, because I'm uploading this onto YouTube, the sound will be compressed and changed. But if you wear headphones, I think you can hear a little bit of the differences. I can help you more with that once I hear the examples. Okay. Just to serve as a sort of control test, I'm going to include a test using just the Zoom H5 as well.
After doing the tests, I reviewed them with Puya and we compared each one to the next. But yeah, for me, it feels like there's kind of a curtain or something, a really thin curtain between number five and four. And settled on a setup that was both practical to my situation and would be suitable for the project. And that was the DPA 4011s in front and the Soyuz in the back much higher. Different mics add up to each other differently when you combine mics mm -hmm. and with phase relationships and stuff like that. Throughout all of this process, I also found that I began to listen a little more carefully. I started hearing things that I never paid attention to before. And even though this was an exercise in sound engineering and recording, I think it translated into how I hear things separate from recording at the piano as well because I'm listening to more details. Okay, all right. Now let's go practice. Regarding the project, I'm now in the mixing and mastering stage of everything and hopefully I can finish it up to put out into the world for you all to hear very soon. But in the meantime, I hope this information helps some of you, especially those of you who are recording things on your own. I understand how difficult it is. Please let me know in the comments below what you all think of this setup. If you heard a difference in the mic tests, what you all have tried, what's worked for you, especially if you record a piano, because this has become a very big topic of interest for me. So anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you very soon.